One thing I forgot to mention about nameplates is that yellow means that the enemy will not attack you, but that you can attack them. Red means that it's an uh, that you can attack the enemy, but they will attack you if you get too close, and uh, you won't see them on friendly players. Now we need to go into interface and um, is it combat? Nope. Uh, unit frames, status text, names. There it is. Enemy units. You're going to want to click class colors and nameplates. And what this does is um, these colors will change because each class has a specific class color. Torskir warriors have brown. Death Knights have a kind of pinkish red. It's different from the NPC red. Uh, rogues have a light, a slightly different yellow. Priests are white. Uh, shamans are dark blue. Mages are more of a light blue cayenne, and that's so you can see when there's you can easier see when you have enemies around you. I use this for PvP. Uh, it's it's also good in the world just to see when you've got what you've got around you and um, what class they are. So anyway, get back to business. Let's make a quick couple basic macros for World of Warcraft. You can do this by typing slash macro or hitting escape and going into macros. Now what a macro is, is a, um, we'll hit new, title it, little teeny icon, hit question mark. What a macro is, is a um, pre-recorded, it records and plays back keystrokes in the, um, the order that, and time that you want them to. So, for example, WoW has codes like uh, commands like codes. So if we type number show tooltip, all one word, into our macro, this is telling this icon to show instead of a question mark, show the icon for the spell that we are specifying. If we type slash start attack, then we have a line of code telling me to target the nearest enemy and start my auto white attack on them. This will also um, this helps for spells as well as melee because it'll auto target. You won't have to press anything fancy, and you can just um, start um, cast at them at their if, if you're at range or start your met, your attack. And then slash cast is the command to cast whichever spell. In this case, let's do Heroic Strike. I think Warriors start with that. It might be just Strike. No, it's Heroic Strike. And if you hit Save, you'll notice that the icon changed, and it changed to that of the spell that we told it to. And that's Number Show Tooltip. So if we go down to Bar 1, and we change the Alpha, and we make it not click through. This right here, this attack button, is basically one button that says slash start attack. They are the same. I've targeted the nearest enemy and started my white attack. So instead of having a separate button for that, we've built it in to heroic strike. Now something interesting is you can have more than one. You can have heroic strike and you can also have slash cast um, blood fury. This is when the global cooldown comes into play. The global cooldown is a starting out a 1.5 second delay in between, or one one I think it's one one second delay one anywhere in that area. It's a it's a delay after you press a skill before you can press another skill. So you can't just spam heroic strike like crazy and and win the game instantly because macros would be too overpowered. You could have every skill in here, slash cast every skill, and just like uber nuke everything with one button repeatedly. It, it wouldn't work like that, so. You can only have two skills cast instantly side by side if they're both off the global cooldown. A general rule of thumb is things like Blood Fury here, which is a, a DPS buff that orcs get, and Heroic Strike, the warrior talent, are both off the global cooldown, meaning you can press these whenever the heck you feel like it, and they'll just happen. 
So if we save this macro, we will see this macro automatically fire Blood Fury, start attacking, and it fired Blood Fury. We can see the cooldown there. And then it'll also use my, her my Heroic Strike when I have enough rage for it. So it did all of that for us with one button. It's, it automatically targets the closest enemy. It starts white attacking them. It fires off Blood Fury whenever it's available. It'll be another two minutes, but, and Heroic Strike. So, this is a macro I use for everything. This is the most important macro. I replace every skill on my bar with a macro. Ooh, congrats, Torsk, the tutorial orc. You're now level two. But you're gonna want to replace and this is this is like a suggestion with fervor. I know y'all are gonna do your own thing, but some form of number show tooltip slash start attack macro is really the only way to go. Now I would definitely not have Blood Fury with heroic strike because that's foolish. But um anything. Now there are other things, like you can have cast sequences and stuff, but if you want to know more about that, leave some comments. If not, then I think that's good for basic, basic, basic attack macro. Oop. Till next time.